So what I want to do is put them in the vacuum chamber. I suspect nothing will happen, but maybe I'm wrong and maybe we'll get some action. We'll see. What I'm going to do is take half of the eggs. I've got 25 or 26 eggs, I think. And what we're going to do is I'm going to poke holes with this uh, needle here. I'm going to poke a hole in the top of about half of the eggs. And then that way, maybe we'll get a geyser or something. And we'll just put that one down here. Hopefully nothing catastrophic happens because they can't really fit it anywhere else. So we'll just put it, we'll put it right over there. Oh, I have two more actually. We'll put that one right over there as well. Let's see what happens. Three, two, one. Here we go. All right. So we're at three quarters of an atmosphere approaching one quarter, one half, sorry, of an atmosphere. There's one half. All right. Then we will approach our way to one quarter of an atmosphere. Look, it's, it's already coming out of that one over there. That's really cool. Check that out. Okay, there is one quarter of an atmosphere right there. Already making a mess. We're gonna let it go as far as we can and see what happens. But nothing major, nothing like nothing like an exploding set of eggs or anything, even though that was pretty cool over at the end. Nothing happened. Why? Uh, or I shouldn't say nothing, you know, amazing happened. Why, why is that? Well, because these eggs are filled with a liquid right? Not a gas. Or if there is a gas in there, it's a very small amount of gas. And we already saw how strong this eggshell is. So that whatever tiny amount of gas was in there was not enough to push on the outside and rupture the egg, except in that one case, which is kind of interesting. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.